What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. Um, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Chad Hooft and um, I do fitness and men's fashion and I'm hoping to do men's grooming soon. Um, so today's video is going to be a life update. Um, I've been absent on YouTube for the past month, month and a half. Um, oh, for those of you who know what this is, uh, Sunday dessert. Um, I just want to talk to you quickly about my life, where I've been and what I've been up to for the last 30 days. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know. I told you guys that I quit my job and I found this amazing opportunity to leave uh, South Africa to go to India for three months. So just to give you a quick background, I used to be a project coordinator for um, my previous company. I resigned from that job and um, I signed a contract for one year with this new company that I was going to go to India with. So I resigned from my permanent job to join a graduate program for, with this new company. Um, that was the 6th of March, I resigned from my job and I finished at my previous company on the 29th of March. So from that day up until last week, the 13th of uh, May, I was at home. So we were supposed to leave for India with a new company that I signed with um, on the 1st of April then they shifted it to the 5th of April which was the following weekend then they shifted it to the 13th of April which was the following weekend then um, all of us collected our visas and everything was fine visa application was approved and like our manager at the time with that new company um, didn't give us any negative feedback everything was good to go we were supposed to book our tickets and on the next flight on the 21st of April we were supposed to leave um, we didn't leave I then got a whatsapp message from a random number and this person asked me to please reapply for my visa as there was some issues and all of us had to reapply. All of, all, of, all of the candidates, all of the candidates had to reapply. And then I was like, this doesn't make sense. Firstly, it's unprofessional. You're sending me a WhatsApp message from a number that I don't know. Um, I didn't receive an email from the company itself or the HR team. So I have no idea where this um, message is coming from. Uh, I then decided not to reply to the message. Um, but then I started becoming a bit skeptical, what is going on, every, every time they're telling us it's delayed, it's delayed with no real feedback, um, they couldn't give us information about where we're going to stay in India, they can't give us pictures, there's no concrete information, all I know is I'm going to work for this company and I'm going to India um, and what I was going to be, what my title was going to be. That's it. Uh, oh, and they obviously gave us um, feedback on what we would be paid. So that was the first thing. They asked me to reapply for the visa. Second thing was I wasn't paid for March from this company. And then I decided this is not for me. Um, this is not for me. I'm going to um, I'm going to take matters into my own hands, and I decided to resign from this company. Uh, I got like a lawyer involved to try and get my money paid for March, which I'm still waiting for. But to be honest, I'm don't I don't even care about that money. I'm just glad I'm not going with that company anymore. And yeah. Um, 
designed from the company. Nobody even contacted me to ask why I designed from the company. I just, I left the WhatsApp group. My manager hasn't contacted me from that previous company. Uh, two weeks later, I like, oh, sorry. Within this time, I've been applying for um, a new job and I've gone for an interview. Um, I didn't get it. The following week, I got a, a call from someone I know and the person was like, I know you're looking for a job. Um, I, I am searching for someone to join my team. Are you available? And I was like, I was like, yes, please. I need the job and that's history. Now I joined a massive company, um, which is based in Cape Town. So the cool thing is I don't have to leave to India. Um, not that I was skeptical about going to India. It was just too much. The company, the previous company that I was supposed to go with was unprofessional. They were, they lacked communication. They lacked people skills. They lacked now I am a IT risk analyst at um, one of the biggest companies. I'm consulting for one of the biggest companies within Africa. And that is a, a, an amazing opportunity I've been given. So I've been working there for one week now and tomorrow, Monday, would be the start of week two. So I just wanted to tell you guys, whatever you guys are going through, um, hang in there. So, my learnings from this was do your research on the company properly, um, get reviews done, like see if you know people that has been working there or that previously worked at that company that you would like to start join or that you would like to join. Um, see if you can find like any articles, dig deeper and then also a very very important tip I would like to give you guys um, when joining a company or when looking for a job I know um, the market is tough out there we all have degrees and we all are looking for a job to so that we can start our lives but I want to um, I'm asking you to please do your research think about what it is you want out of the company. Why do you want to join this specific company? And that's what I didn't do for that, for that company that I was supposed to go to India with. Sorry, I'm not giving you any names. If you would like to hear the names of the company, if I'm allowed to give it to you, but um, I would probably be able to DM you or email it to you. Um, yeah, research the company that you're looking to join. Think about why you want to join this company. How is it going to help you how are you going to provide value for this company? And um, you should be fine. So I hope you guys found this video um, somewhat helpful. Um, and if you would like to please subscribe and like this video, I would really appreciate it. Uh, all the best and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.